YouTube, what's good? What's good? It's your man, Cloudy Poker Chips, back at you with another look at a fresh pair of kicks. Today, I bring you guys a look at the Air Pegasus uh, 83. Um, there have been quite a few of the Air Pegasus uh, models that have uh, come out um, recently due to the uh, 30th anniversary of the Pegasus. Uh, this shoe is pretty much true to the classic form. Um, if you walked into your shoe store in 1983, this is the shoe that you would see on the shelf. Um, it's so retro, it's so nice, it's so vintage. Uh, Nike did a very good job on these. Um, in hand, these are so nice and they look really, really good on feet. Um, I had a hard time finding these. Um, in my size, I actually, I know when they first dropped, it was like the beginning of August, and there was a full-size run on Nike.com, and I kind of slept on them, and I don't know why I did that, but I, then, I, then I decided I had to have them, and I couldn't find my size, and Nike.com had 12 and a half up. Um, I'm a size 12, so I went ahead and went with the size 12 and a half. And I got it back, I got it to the house, and it fits really good. Um, a lot of Nike sportswear, uh, like the Vindy, like the classics they come out with, are usually a little bit snug for some reason, like the Air Max 90s. Um, they always fit a little bit short. These are actually pretty good fit. There's a tad bit of room in the tongue, or in the toe box but nothing that would make it uncomfortable. Um, a half size up isn't that big of a difference in most shoes and um, in this case um, they fit really really good. I'm extremely happy with this shoe. Um, you have this uh, really nice material on these, this suede material and you have this uh, nylon material which um, is kind of wrinkled to give it that look of vintage so nice. Um, you have this anthracite swoosh and on the back of the heel as well and on the Nike Air on the tongue and the Nike inside. Um, the insole is lined in like a leather material which is really nice and you have the um, anthracite bottom which is um, kind of that waffle pattern that you see in the old school runners just a really nice shoe. Um, I saw this shoe, like I said, on Nike.com, and I slept on it, and then I saw it again on like a sneaker blog or one of those sneaker websites, and I was like, damn, I slept on those. So I went to look for them, and I couldn't find my size, and I went for the 12 and a half, and blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, it turned out really nice. Really, really nice in person. On feet, these shoes look amazing. Uh, these are definitely instant summer classics with me. Um, this shoe will be in heavy rotation uh, from here on out. Love this shoe. This shoe does appear to be like kind of a navy, but it is anthracite, which is kind of like a dark. Um, this, it's, it's a black colorway. Not black black, but kind of a lighter black, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, just a real nice, uh, real nice shoe. You see a lot of the Pegasus. Um, you see the 92s, I think, came back out. These, um, the 8330s, which are the 30th anniversary. It's kind of a new spin on the classic shoe. Um, I did pick up the um, 8330 and the Flash Lime. Those are actually on their way. So when I get those in, I'll do a review on those. Um, I remember a couple years ago, there was a Pegasus uh, ACG, all conditions gear. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's kind of like a all-terrain um, series of shoes that Nike uh, does. Uh, like They do like boots and hiking boots and things like that. Um, I actually have an ACG jacket that I got from Dick's Sporting Goods like five years ago. I wear it all the time. It's so nice. But I remember those Pegasus ACGs. Um, and they were so dope. I didn't have them, but um, they were, I remember they were really nice. 
This shoe was just really classic. I was very, very lucky um, that I got these when I did because I checked back a couple days later and all I have left now is like 14 up, like 14 and 15, that's it. Um, you can buy these. Um, I did find a couple international websites that have these, but I don't like to do that. Um, I try to avoid that as much as I can. I have purchased shoes overseas before, but that's pretty much my last resort. And for $75, these are $75 retail shoes. And, you know, I'm sold right there. 75 bucks for a nice looking shoe that you can wear the hell out of. You know, count me in. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit that like button. Um, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about these. If you picked them up. If you passed on them. If you even know they existed. <laughs> but uh, these are the Pegasus 83's. A very classic shoe. Uh, this silhouette again is really, really nice and vintage. Love, if you guys are in a vintage anything, um, definitely you want to check these out. I'm not sure how readily available these are, like in your Nike store or in your Foot Lockers or whatever. Um, I know Foot Locker has the um, women's version of these. And Nike.com has a couple other colors with full size runs, but the white ones are pretty scarce for some reason online. I don't know why, but uh, if you're looking for these, definitely um, I would probably pick them up if you find them because they're they'll be dried up pretty soon. But I mean, they're only 75 bucks, and I did see a couple pair on eBay for like 80 bucks, even even retail price, but. Um, I could not find a size 12 to save my life, so. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Air Pegasus 83. Um, uh, definitely keep it locked to my channel. I got a couple new vids coming at you this week. Um, so stay tuned. Um, if you're just now checking my channel out, make sure to subscribe. I got a lot of good stuff. Um, you will not be disappointed with my kicks. I got a lot of good stuff on my channel right now I got a lot of good stuff coming so definitely uh, keep it locked on my channel guys thanks so much for watching until next time be safe